When Josiah Spode II launched his new Italian blue range of tableware in 1816, he couldn't possibly have known that it would be a bestseller for the next 200 years. What is it about blue and white pottery that has made it just so loved? Beautifully designed Chinese pottery goes way, way back. Over several thousand years, in fact, it's no surprise that extraordinary, sophisticated artifacts were being produced in China for hundreds of years, and it was blue and white that really made its mark all over the world. It was from the 17th century, however, that the quest by European traders for tea, fine textiles, spices, and other luxuries ended up presenting Westerners with a new view of extraordinary exotic artifacts. The first producers of blue and white in the West were the Potters of Holland, who became celebrated for their Delftware, a technique copied elsewhere in Europe, even here in Lancaster, in Northern England. Hand-painted pottery was still hugely expensive to produce, but the middle classes were clamouring for blue and white. It was British potteries in Liverpool, Leeds, Worcester, Corley that, through the invention of transferware, made blue and white available to the masses. Blue and white pottery was all the rage, imported from China or from British factories, which were knocking out items in the millions, making good taste and style a little more in touch for the ordinary family. Much of it gloried in oriental design, with now and then a nod to those venerated Chinese treasures of earlier days. Blue and white tableware still has an easy, comfortable charm, where old and new can be paired in perfect harmony on the grandest table or for lunch in the sun, a seamless blend of era-spanning artifacts.